basically three major lines, controls that make the sail work the way they do. So this is a sail here, this triangle. You have the outhaul that pulls the sail vertically, downwards and upwards. You have the outhaul that pulls the sail <laughs> that way. And then you have the boom bay, which pulls the sail like that. So um, those three lines essentially make the sail work the way they do. And um, when you're sailing, uh, depending on the wind, like either it's light wind, there's no wind, there's heavy wind, uh, you'll change the controls on your lines by pulling them tighter or looser, depending on the conditions. And um, essentially the way it works is that uh, um, these lines, when pulled on tighter, they depower the sail, they make it go slower. And the only reason you want to pull them on is when the wind is too great for you to stay flat. Now when your boat's healing, you want to stay flat so you can sail the way you want to instead of being pushed down the course, as many of you know. So um, essentially the rule of thumb is uh, in medium air, you just start pulling on all controls a little more. In heavy air, you crank on everything more. Yeah, that's basically a small rule of thumb, just a bit. What about waves? Uh, for waves? Um, for waves, if it is wavy, you tend to loosen everything to power your sail up more so you can uh, punch through the waves. Okay. What other controls are there besides these? I'm not trying to quiz you, but... Well, yeah. talk about like halyards and sheets, like halyards yeah. go up and down, sheets go up. Oh, like rigging? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry, I didn't clarify. We're doing that too. Oh. Just have at it. Alright, so, uh, there is the... <laughs> the main halyard. Which, uh, uh, it's usually located around right here, and it pulls the sail upwards. You know that's how you get the sail up on the mast, and then uh, essentially uh, the outhaul, which pulls the sail out, and then you have the jib halyard, which pulls the sail pulls the jib up, and pretty much that's how it is. <laughs> What's a sheet? What's the main sheet? This one. Uh, the main sheet is what pulls the boom in. Sorry, I was expecting more of just control lines. So, yeah. Alright, so <laughs> what we have the big pole in the middle of the boat is the mast, obviously. Um, or maybe not that obviously, I guess. But the halyards are what pull the sails up. So there's the big sail that's the main sail. And it has a line that you tie at the top here. And it goes through a little pulley at the top and it comes down here. And then you tie it off down at the bottom of the mast inside the boat. The jib has something that's pretty similar. So the jib is this little triangular sail at the front of the boat. Um, and it has another halyard, so you tie it at the top of that sail, it goes up through a pulley, down, and you tie it on the other side of the mast. So when you get into our boats, for those of you that haven't been in them before, um, on either side of the mast, down right at the bottom by your feet, there are two little cleats, and it's just like this little thing that you can tie the rope around. So the rope comes down, and you... Okay. Well, you basically wrap it around that and holds it, and it will go through that at the lake. But so basically, your halyards control the sails going up and down, and then sheets control the trim of the sails. So for the main sail, you have the main sheet, and that's this rope at the back of the boat, and it just goes through a couple of pulleys, and you can you pull on that to make the sail come in. You let it out, and the sail goes out. Um, also, <laughs> for the gym. This is very, this is all to scale. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, if you're looking at the top of the boat, the main sheet, the mass is here, boom's here, the main sheet's somewhere in here. Uh, the jib, which is at the front of the boat, is the sail right here, and it has a sheet on each side of it, and so it's one line that comes back like this. And it goes through a little thing there. And then there's one that goes around the other side, through a little eye there. 
And so if you pull on this one, it pulls the sail to this side of the boat. If you pull on this one, it pulls the sail around to that side of the boat. So you can see that you use those to control the trim of the jib, and you can use one line, and it can either pull, you know, the boom can swing all through here. Um, the other thing, so when you go to rig your boats, you'll, you pull out the sails, you unroll them, you um, put them up on the boat, and it just slides into a little track here, and you hoist it up with the halyard, like I said. Um, the jib, you just have a little pin here that you put in, you tie it up here, and then you hoist it up. Um, and then once you've launched your boat, the last key piece of it really is the rudder. So if you look at the back of the boat, the rudder, um, there are these little things on the back of the boat that hold it on, and the rudder just looks like that. And so the rudder just sits on these. And so it just like, it just sits on those pins and holds it in place. And there's a, um, there's this wooden stick basically, it's a tiller. And you just put it in there. So you pop the rudder onto the back of the boat and then put the tiller into the top of the rudder and you're all set to go. Questions? Back row. You don't have to have any. It's obviously hard to get a feel for this if you haven't seen the boat before. Oh, I have a question. What does the jib do? Okay, so... Um, okay, so... Okay, so... That's a protest. You get kicked out of nationals for that. Yeah. Okay, so no, the main the, the main sail is like that. Um, and so basically, the wind is going this way, and the wind will hit the sail. And that's what moves you forward. And so what, when you put the jib on the front, it just directs more air over the sail. Uh -huh. So if you're looking at the top of the boat, like that, this is the jib here, and then this is the mainsail. So the wind is coming from something like that. And if without the jib there, you know, you get some wind hitting here, and then some's just going off like this. But when you put the jib on there, it just like keeps more going along the edge of your mainsail. So it's just like um, it's an airplane wing basically, and you just direct more air over it. So it's all about flow. Yeah, thanks. Low pressure, pulling forward. We'll just leave it at that for now. <laughs> Um, can you also explain the difference of how like the jib can push you down in the main? Sure. Um, you can even just draw like arrows and a lever kind of thing. Just like levers. Pushing. <laughs> <laughs> right, so yeah. if the wind is coming like that, and your boat's here, the boat pretty much pivots about the middle of the boat. So. If you have the jib trimmed in tight here, and the wind comes down and hits the jib, which way do you think the boat's going to turn? Anybody? Any guesses? That way. That way. Okay. So, yes, it will turn that way. <laughs> and it it rotates about here and just it'll head you right down away from the direction of the wind. That's why it's called down. Um, but if you have the jib let off, so it's just you know, not catching any wind, and you trim your mainsail in, this, the sail, instead of like pushing you down, it, I mean, if you want to look at it, it's pushing you. And if the wind hits here, which way is it going to turn the boat now? Right. So the mainsail's, one, is hitting you behind where the boat pivots from, but it's also creating lift, so it rounds the boat up closer to the wind. So if you, 
you know, if you're sitting across the wind and you want to head down, you can trim your jib more. If you want to round up into the wind, you can let your jib off. The reason I brought that up is it's even simple things like at a mark rounding, at a lured mark rounding, when you're going downwind and then you want to go upwind, it's super important to trim your mainsail in first because that'll round your boat up and then you trim in your jib just falling right after. If you have your trim, your jib still trimmed in, it'll be really hard to bring your boat back up with. Yeah, so the reason why, why David and Rachel said that's really important is because you don't need a rudder to sail at all. The only reason you have that rudder is because people can't really balance the jib and the main out perfectly. You need the rudder to counter that. Like You, you want to go where you want to go. So those who can sail the boat rudderless like if you have a rudder or not if you can sail it the same way you will go the fastest on the water so that's why like people practice rudderless rudderless is because um the rudder the rudder holds you back <laughs> right so like um uh the combination of how how you trim your sails that dictates where your boat wants to go whether it's turning whether it goes straight or whether it just stops and if you sail rudderless, your boat will always go the fastest at that it can go. The rudder will only slow down your boat. So that is why like, you should understand the basic concepts of how these sails play. So um, when you actually do sail, you can kind of tailor your, your boat and your sails to how you want to sail so your rudder doesn't slow down your speed as much. Right, so the rudder is at the back of the boat here like that and if you're looking at the boat in the water um, it has the center board in the middle and then the rudders this is like looking straight down at the bow and so you have your center board there and if you think about the rudder at the back of the boat if you turn it a little bit so it's like that to try and you know keep yourself on course going the right direction underwater it looks like you know, this is all your rudder right here. So all that's just slowing you down. It's like if you're putting your hand out the car window and you just hold it flat, it's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of resistance on it. <laughs> the whole car will slow down. <laughs> you go both that you come to a stop. Like a race car, a parachute. Yeah. This is this is why we'll, we'll tell you when you're practicing your tacks to be to use your weight and the sail trim and be gentle with the rudder that you don't need to like throw it all the way over. Because when you push it all the way over, then you, like David showed, you've got the whole act, you know, action of the rudder slowing you down. And that's any time. It's not just tacking. You, yeah, can, so you can avoid using the tiller as much as possible by using your body weight and the sails as much preferred. And, and the opposite is true. It, like, some, you'll see some guys, when they're on the start, um, like if they need to slow down, um, one of the best things to do is to really skull hard and move your rudder big motions back and forth, um, kind of do everything that you don't want to do normally, um, you know, adjust your trim and everything like that. Especially in fall and later. Any more questions? That was a good one. Led to a long answer. 